Good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I eat my dinner. How do you feel today? Good. I eat my dinner. You are eating your dinner. I eating. Okay. Remember that when you use a progressive time, you are going to use it before. I am eating my dinner. I am watching TV. I am driving. Review. <laughs> it's just a review, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we are close to start. I'm glad to see you. Good evening. Again. I hope that you feel good evening. really well today. Uh, good evening, Mario.
Okay, here we go. Okay, Adriana del Carmen. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Beatriz. Escobar. Present. Selina Guadalupe. Present. Diana Stephanie. Eric Orlando. Present. Francis Elizabeth. Jose Jonathan. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Okay. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena Guadalupe. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Jenny Suleima. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. I got 14. Okay, this is video bumper number 10. We are going to talk about advantages and outsourcing of CDPL service provider. And in order to start, we are going to talk about the following topic. Okay, we are going to start with this uh, kind of discussion, the right qualities. And I need that you uh, get familiar with this activity. What is the ideal friend, parent, or partner like? 
add your own type of person and their people. Then uh, write one quality each ideal person should have and one each should not have. Of course, that we are going to speak. And you got there. I don't know if you got uh, the idea that I'm trying to convey, you know? I need that you give me some characteristic related with friend, parents, partner, and something else that you add here. And also, um, all those characteristics that this person, um, you consider that uh, don't have it. Okay, who want to start talking about this? Let us see the qualities that you consider in a friend, for example. Okay, tell me. I don't know if you understand what I'm uh, trying to, to do with you in order that you can talk about this. For me, teacher, the ideal friend, it has to be reliable and this person uh, it has to be a gossip I don't know how to say chief muscle okay. gossip gossip okay okay thank you somebody else Let us talk about qualities. Let us talk about friends, parents, partners. And maybe you can add something else. What about if you add here the ideal boss? What can you tell me about that?
para los que tal vez no comprendan alguna palabra, estoy preguntando, que hablemos de cualidades, de cómo sería el amigo ideal, su compañero, su jefe, características que debe poseer y que no debe de poseer. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, make an, a screenshot if you want to keep it because I need to stop chatting. Okay, tell me. My ideal friend should be a confident um should should not be dishonest. Okay. What about your 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 boss? It's up to you. You can choose them. Whatever. Okay. Somebody else. Or say Jonathan. Sincere teacher. Okay, but you are talking about friend? Friend. Okay, what else can you tell me? Mm, honest. Okay. What about you, Juan Carlos? Mario Ernesto, what can you tell us about? Teacher. Ana Lilian, tell me. Uh, uh, friends is uh, sin pasar y en, no en videos. Así se dice en videos, en videos. En videos. From my perspective, teacher, an ideal friend must be a comprehensible person, someone who can listen to me, uh, give me some advice. And this person is not, uh, I mean, this person uh, avoid to ignore me. Okay. Okay, thank you. What about, let me see. What about you, my Mayra Peralisa? Mayra, Mayra. Yesenia Lisset. Teacher. Hi, teacher. Thinking. Go, you go. Okay, Maria Elena, continue, and then Yesenia. Um, my ideal boss should be a leader 
and should not be a uh, root. Yes, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yesenia? Okay, teacher, my, if they are friends, should be always support me, to be honest with me, always be near me, um, no be there when no is necessary he be able to understand understand me mm, that's it but it does understand you okay thank you Maria Concepcion. What about you? Um, my friend uh, would be friendly, uh, honest, and funny. Okay. What about you, Laura Carolina? Hi teacher, I consider that an ideal person or friend is someone who is always there to support you, may you love, love help you, listen to you, and is loyal. Okay, it's loyal, loyalty. Loyal, okay, teacher. Loyal. Somebody else? Teacher, um, the idea friend, uh, he has to be loyal and he doesn't have to be a liar, liar. The pronunciation, uh, mentiroso. Liar? Liar, yes. Liar. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And the last one, la, la, last participation. Somebody else, somebody else. Okay, let me choose one then if you don't want to do it. Let me see. Saira Marlene. Saira Marlene. Saira. Hello. OK. 
Okay, uh, let us continue then if you don't want to talk about this topic. Remember, the only way that you are going to improve your skill is just practicing. If you don't want to practice, it's up to you. Okay, today we are going to continue talking about CPL. I need that you remember, well, well um, what we said in the previous class related with this topic. And I have some questions, two questions for you. Have you heard the term third party logistic before? And why do companies use CPLs? We have two questions. What about the third one? Maria Concepcion said on, what can you tell me about the third question? Have you heard the term third party logistic before? Microphone, microphone. Microphone. I can, I can, I can hear you. I'm sorry, I have to stop chatting. Sorry, teacher. No, okay. me no. Yeah. No. Oh, okay, now I can hear you. Okay, what do you think about the, the first question? And logistics in my work. Yes, but the first question said that if you have heard before the word 3PL, have you heard the term third party logistic before? Teacher, mi audio el que da un poquito. I'm sorry. Mi audio el que da un poco de problema, teacher. Ah, okay. But now I can hear you very well. You can talk if you want. Eh, the idea, pare. Uh, parent should give example and uh, not stop correcting. Me escucha, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. I'm listening. Only that. Okay, thank you. What about you, Wendy? Wendy. Have you heard the term third party logistic before? I don't understand the question, bitch. Party. Have you heard the term? Have you heard a usted oído el termino third party logistic before? No, teacher. I don't hear the term. No, I haven't. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, the right way to answer these kind of questions. Okay, um, what about, let me see. What about you, Adriana del Carmen? No, teacher, I haven't heard the term before. It, it, is, it is the first time? Yeah. Okay. In fact, I, I Googled it and... Oh, okay. uh, and um, 
uh, it's a, a sorting term, right? Yes. Okay. It's the first time I read it about is, it. It is uh, mm -hmm. best yeah. related with that. Yeah. Um, Teacher. Hello. Uh, ahora, ahora sí me escucha. Yes. There. Okay. Uh, in in the company is the um, is a department um, called logistics um, uh, that is a uh, responsible responsible uh, for sending the product to uh, other countries uh, or in their other a um, other lugar. Place. Yes, I, I got your point, but my question is this. I'm going to share it again because in that way you are going to have some ideas. The first question say, have you heard the term? Ter I'm sorry. Okay, let us focus our attention in the first question. Have you heard the term third party logistic before? Yes or not? In my case, no. Okay. And try to keep in mind the second one. Why do companies use EPLs? Okay, let me continue asking this question. Uh, what about what about you, Misael? About the first question. No, teacher, I haven't heard that before. That's okay. new for me. Okay, thank you. Let me see what else, Mario Ernesto. This is about the, the, the first question. Uh, the the airphone have problems with the first three questions. Could you please give me the, the first question again, please? Okay. Did, did did you did you see the questions that I show you? I was trying to to synchronize my earphone with the laptop, so I didn't see it. Okay, you have the first question right here. Mm, I have I have listened to the term third party, but not in logistic in logistic, in logistic way. Okay. What about it's you? Like it's like a, a outsourcing. Okay. What about you, Eric? Related with the first question. Uh, yes, I have heard about the third party logistics. Uh, and I agree with Mario. He said this is like uh, outsourcing uh, services, logistic services. And why do companies use three PLs? And this is because it's, it's a cheaper way to to use a distribution channel that is already created for this company, and it's cheaper because you don't have to create your own uh, distribution channel because it is already created. Okay, and what do you use? Is just to to look for these companies in order that. Uh, get uh, their service, right? Yes, uh, we use Urbano because we have to to move uh, documents that, for example, uh, contracts. Contracts, uh, law right. firm, uh -huh, Contracts are long. And that's why we use third party logistics. Okay, thank you. Somebody else?
Okay, it is really important if you don't have any information about a new topic, what you can do is just try to get uh, extra info. Right now we have the advantage that we have a different engine and internet that we can find information related with, with these terms. And that way you are going to get familiar with the topic and also with the terminology that we are going to use. Okay. Well, the reason I invite you to, to if you don't got, uh, if you don't have any idea in, in, in English, you can look for the term CPL or, or TPL uh, in English. And then you are going to find out that it's talking about services of logistic that companies uh, acquire in order to, to make easy all the process, you know? Okay, let us continue. Because we are going to be talking about this topic during the week. For the reason I invite you to get more information related with that. Teacher. And, okay, tell me. GPL is um, outsourcing logistics um, someone companies uh, replace the manager uh, to outsourcing other companies outsourcing um, I am think it is this GPL okay but you say that they replace. I heard something like that. Yes. I need to replace. Okay, in order that um, you can have a better idea, if we say it in Spanish, it's going to be easy to say that it's la logística de terceros. See? La logística terciaria, it is what Eric said, right? That they use uh, Urbano Express in order to uh, send contract and at the same time they get him back again in a short time and they don't need to move any, any person because uh, Urbano already have uh, its logistic, you know? Okay, we have some question and in the activity number two, that you are going to number the step to outsource a third party logistic provider uh, according to what you consider, you know, uh, we have developed a detailed plan for, for the 3PL selection process, evaluate, interview and select, review the checklist of 3PL, capabilities, do an internal assessment of your current and future need. Okay, you are going to number from one to four, and then we are going to discuss it with somebody else. Right now you are going to do it uh, yourself, and then you are going to get together with somebody else and you are going to discuss why you say that, uh, for example, if you say that evaluate, interview and select is number one, you, you, you need to tell me why do you think that in that way. Maybe somebody else is going to say that this one is the number one. 
Okay, make a screenshot because uh, you need it. If you don't got the material, you need it. You have it? Yes. Okay, try to do it by yourself and then you are going to compare with somebody else and discuss too. Yes. Um, oh. I am made I stop for diner, uh, but, but I am here driving again. Are you driving? Yes. Okay. Okay. Be careful. Be careful. Okay. Uh, thank you for that. Some things I can't, but what I can, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Thank you.
Okay, I guess uh, you already got some ideas and you are going to compare with somebody else. Let us do it now.
Okay, who want to start? I consider that you discuss with your partner which option is going to be or is number one and number four. Let us see what do you have. With Eric, we think uh, the first is internal assignment the current future needs. Continue, Mario. Hello, Mario. Yes. We think the first one is a long internal assessment of the current future needs. Okay, hold on there. What about what about you, Escobar? The number one. For me, is uh, the same. Do internal sampling of your current and the future needed. Okay. Let me see somebody else. Um, what about you, Misael? I have. Of number one, develop a detailed plan for the 3 pl selection process. Oh, okay. You had a different one and you need to think why you had number one. And you are going to tell us something later on. I'm going to check out the attendance first and then you are going to, to tell me the reason why you consider number one. And number four. But before I need to check out the attendance. Adriana? Present. Okay. Ana Beatriz? Ana Lilian? Present. Escobar. Present. Selina Guadalupe. Diana Stephanie. Eric Orlando. Present. Francis Elizabeth.
Jonathan Vigil. Present. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Present teacher. María Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Jenny, Jenny. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Okay, hold on a second, please. Okay, got it. Okay, let us continue talking about. Okay, we, we are talking about this one. What about number two? Which one do you consider is number two? Okay, I'm going to look for somebody else because teacher. Hello. I consider I consider number two is develop a detail plan for the TPL selection process. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else has a different opinion? Um, do an internal assessment of your current and future needs. You consider it the second one? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me see if I can. What about you, uh, Maria Elena is driving, right? Okay, what about uh, Wendy Maribel? Which one is the second one for you? Wendy. Ay, aquí estoy, teacher, pero no entiendo nada para variar. Ay, bueno. No, ni, ni poteiro. Sorry, teacher. Okay, don't worry about it. But, but remember, what we, are, uh, what we have here are the steps that we need to follow, okay. you know? And you, what you need to do is just to decide which one is number one, number two, number three, number four. Of course, number one is going to be the most important. Yeah? Okay. 
For example, you can say, okay, for me, number one is evaluate, interview and select. And you need to, to have the reason uh, why you think in that way. Okay, Mayra, Mayra, are you there, Mayra? What about you, Mayra? Yes, we, can. we are uh, talking about number two. Number three. No, number two. Oh, number two. Number two for me is, is develop a detailed plan for the 3PL selection process. Okay. It's the same opinion, Mayra. Okay. Let me put it here before I forgot. I'm going to put it here. The son of you considered this is number two. And I guess uh, at the beginning, Mario and Eric said this is number one. Uh, am I right or not? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, what about number three? Let me see. Mm. Let me ask uh, Selena and Salis and Eric. What about Adriana? Number three for you. I think it's a evaluate, interview, and select. Okay, you consider that is evaluate. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me see somebody else. Thank you. I consider is number three. Review the checklist of PPL capability. Okay. You consider this number three. Review the checklist yes. of three PL. Okay. Somebody else. Me too, teacher. Review the checklist. Review the checklist of 3PL capabilities. Okay, okay. Let me write it down. And what about the, the most difficult, the number four? Which one do you consider it is? I don't know if you got my, my, my question. What about number four? Difficult. Evaluate, interview, and select. Okay. It's quite easy, you know. Okay, you got it there. This is the, the order. The first one, do an internal assessment of your current and future need. You need to be sure what you are going to need in order to develop your company, your, um, your product and so on. The second one, develop a detailed plan for the CPL selection process. What does mean detailed plan? Tell me. ¿Qué comprenden cuando se habla de detailed plan? Crear un plan. En inglés, en inglés, en inglés. Create the plan. Okay, what else? Of course, you are going to create a plan, okay. But what you are going to consider? Teacher, for, for me, for me, uh, the analyze, the... Analyze, analyze. Ana analyze what kind of the logistic service you need. Ah, okay. Has to do with the product. 
And then you are going to detail what kind of logistic and channel do you need in order to distribute your product? Okay, what else? The capacity of the trucks, uh, you're going to evaluate if you need uh, 1.5 tons truck or eight ton trucks. It depends on how much products you, you are going to to distribute, I think. How do you say distribute? Distribute. Ah, okay, yeah, that. Okay. That means that uh, when we talk about detailed plan, we need to consider all those aspects that you mentioned. Okay. But remember, number four, we evaluate. In other words, at the moment that you are going to uh, develop a detailed plan, you need to be really meticulous, you know, and consider all the aspects that you are going to need. Okay, what about number three? You are going to make a review or, or the checklist of CPL capability. What does what that mean? Imagine that you need to move your product uh, out of this country. What you are going to consider? Okay, explain me why. Do you think it is really important to review the checklist of the CPL capabilities? This is important because uh, when, when we know the capabilities. Uh, we can create a, a expectation about what is the function of, uh, about the party. Uh, corporation. For example, if, if I know Ban how uh, work in, in El Salvador. I know he can. I can move. Uh, I can move all the Valeria. Use later. What am I saying? Supplies, supplies. I can move the supplies to different agencies in in Sarbo. Okay. Somebody else could tell me the important uh, the importance to make a review. You already mentioned some aspect, right? That somebody, I needed that somebody can add another uh, elements. Why do we have to, to make a review? In order to be sure if they are going to be able to, to do what you are looking for, right? Okay, and the number four, what about evaluate, interview and select?
Tell me. What are you going to evaluate? It's like a filter teacher. Okay, explain me. And say and select. What are you going to select? But we choose the necessary. I got your point, but, but I need that you explain more clear. I don't know if you got my point. For me, teacher, we have to do a decision matrix and put all the factors that uh, or TPL choices uh, have. And then we're going to, to select the one who, who fits with our expectations. Okay. Okay, and, and uh, somebody wants to give me an example related with this. Let us think, let us think in an example. Related maybe with your companies, with your companies. Tell me. Let us imagine that you want to put a dealer right here in El Salvador and you are going to sell uh, cars and you need to import cars. How you are going to apply CPL? what you need to do, what you are going to consider in order to do this. You are going to consider the price, the time they can arrive the car, um, quality, and if you have to, to sell, on time these cars, you can evaluate to if they can uh, have a warehouse or something like that to to put there the cars you haven't sell. I don't know, I think. Yeah, 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 you got the idea, you got the idea. But what I, I'm relating this example with the, with the number two and also uh, with number four, I don't know if you uh, had the opportunity to, to buy a car out of the El Salvador, maybe in the United States. And how do you do in order to bring it to El Salvador? And how do you do in order to, to choose the right company?
because uh, maybe in the internet you can find a lot of companies that offer you uh, to bring it to El Salvador, but what you are going to consider in order to make a decision. I guess you already mentioned all those aspects, maybe the price, the time that they are going to spend in order to bring it to El Salvador. And if they are going to take into account all the papers that you need to, to have in order to bring it, now all those aspects you need to, to detail as the moment that you are going to select a company. I hope you understand my idea. Okay, let us move. I don't know if you have any question about this step. Yeah, I need to raise before move forward. Okay, you, you already got a, a screenshot about this answer, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let us continue with exercise number three, building vocabulary, master term related to your logistic their meaning on the right and you got uh, transportation private fleet management reclaim insurance cargo insurance small package services okay right here maybe you are going to find out some new words try to look it up in in a dictionary if you want. And based on that, you are going to make your, your choice and you are going to write down uh, the, the number that you consider that is the, the right one. Okay, if you don't got the material, just make an string chop too in order that you can have it. And we are going to discuss it later on. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing now. And try to solve it.
Did you finish? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, here we go. What about number one? It's the physical process of transporting, commodities, uh, merchandise goods and cargo. Physical process of transporting, commodities, and merchandise goods and cargo, okay. That's number one. Okay, well then. And a second phase. We got number one here. Okay, what about the second one? Number two. It's a function that our companies with really to remove remove it or minimize. The risks associated with vehicle investment. I function of the allows companies will rely to remove or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. It's a private fleet management, okay? Okay, thank you, somebody else. With number three, please. Number three, a legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial comp compens compensation for a loss or the mass of, of a shipment. Okay, that is number three, right? Okay. 
What about number four? Provides protection against all risk of physical loss or damage to freight. Okay, this one is number four. And the last one, number five. Envelops or package shipments ah, that okay. weigh less than 150 pounds. Okay, you got it there. You got it there. Teacher, what that mean, freight? Freight claim, only the word freight. Freight, only. It is like the, um, the transport. Also could be uh, could be related with the with the fleets also. But in another word, it is just uh, has to do with transportation. Okay. Yes. Okay, you got it there. Don't forget to make a screenshot because in the platform, maybe you are going to find out some question related with this exercise. Okay, um, let me ask uh, if some of you would like to read it. Who wants to read number one? You are going to mention the, the name here and the concept. I need that you practice reading. For example, say you say transportation. The, the physical process of transporting commodities and merchandise, goods and care. Okay, that is number one. Number two, who wants to read it? Number two is a function that allows no, 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 but, but I'm sorry, but you need to read the, what we have in number two, and then you are going to read the concept. Read, read the term and then the concept. Okay. Number two. Private fleet management. Ah, okay, private. Private fleet management. A function that allows companies with rely to move or minimize the risks associated with vehicle investment. Vehicle. Vehicle. Vehicle investment. Okay, number three. Number three. Cargo insurance. Correct, uh, no, permit. Freight claim insurance, a uh, legal demand by a shipper to a carrier for financial compens compensation for a loss or damage of a shipment. Compensation. Compensation. Loss. Compensation. Loss 
or damage? Uh, loss or, or damage. Damage of achievement. Okay, damage number four. Okay, free claim insurance. Okay, number four. Number four. Number four. Teacher, health insurance provide protection against all risk of physical loss or damage to freight. Right. Provides, provides protection against all the risk of physical Provide loss. Protection against all risk. Yeah, don't don't forget that sometime we have some letter and then is uh in S like provides risk and so on. Okay, number five. Number five. Who wants to do it? Okay, I'm going to choose one. Democraticamente, because you, you don't you, you don't want to do it in a different way. Okay, Jonathan, your turn. Is my Jonathan there? Okay, Laura, Carolina, give us a hand reading number five, please. Smart package service. Envelop, envelope or package shipment that way less than uh, 115 LBS. Okay, number five says small package services. Envelopes or, or package shipment that's way less than 150 pounds. 150 pounds is considered a small package, you know? Okay, try to keep in mind. And the last part for today. Oh, well, but first of all, I need to raise the number. Okay. Okay, and the last activity that we are going to do is just uh, in group, you are going to discuss the following advantages of hiding a CPL provider. We have A, B, and C. And you are going to work in, let me see how many people do we have now. Okay, make a screenshot, please. Okay, do you have it? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Well, let me see. Oh, we have only a few people here. I guess 14. I don't know what is happening.
Okay, let us do it in this way. Here we go. Hello, teacher. I have some problem with my computer. You got some problem with your computer? My goodness. Let, let me send you to with, with Laura. Laura. Yeah, you got it there. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sir.
Okay. In a volunteer way, uh, who wants to talk about letter A? Just tell me, raise your hand and tell me, okay, we discuss this and we consider this because this, okay, tell me. Hello. Teacher. Okay, tell me. With Saira and Mayra, in general, we discuss the three aspect is advantage, but um at this advantage is for employee maybe because uh, they are higher the GPL for the rights for the rights laboral rights. Okay. But what about, uh, for example, let us see that says CPL reduce risk. What, what, what does mean? And also let it be that says DPLs reduce current costs. Tell me. Somebody else, somebody else can add something. But hurry up, hurry up. For this, um, we discussed uh, there is an uh, advantage, but advantage for the companies. Because um, sometimes employees don't receive um, um, just money for their jobs. And don't respect um, no sé, the holidays and other festive days. I, I got your point, but but if you see if you see the slides right here, the instruction said discuss the following advantages of hiding a CPL provider. Yeah. The main point here is that you tell me the reason why it's really important to hire a CPL provider. Of course, I respect your point of view that you are telling me that sometimes for these people is really difficult because they don't got the right payment and so on. Yes, of course, I got you. But what, what I want to know is that your support and idea related with this three different advantages that we have here. In general, you can say. Mm, I got you. For example, and the first, um, customer satisfaction because um, delivery on time. Ah, okay. So go ahead, something like that. Okay, somebody else want to add something? In our case, teacher, I was talking with Laura and some ideas related with the letter C is that um, the company will be sure that the product um, is delivered in the right way, in the right condition, and avoiding uh, damage during the during the process to get there. 
Ah, okay. And do you remember that in the previous class we talked about something uh, like a seven R? Do you remember that? Yes. Ah, okay. How to do with that? Okay, I'm sorry. The time is up now. Let me check out the attendance and we are going to continue talking about this topic tomorrow. Okay, Adriana del Carmen. Present. Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz. Ana Lilian Reyes. Escobar Antonio. Present. Selina. Present. Diana Stephanie. Eric, Francis, Jose Jonathan, Present. Juan Carlos Rivas, Juan Carlos, bueno a Juan Carlos le correspondía el uno a uno el día de hoy, no está, Laura Carolina, Present teacher. María Elena. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay, Mayra Beralice. Present teacher. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny Suleima Santos Chavez. Not here, Jenny. Yesenia Lisset. Present teacher. Oh, thank you. Well, we miss a reading that I have for the end because we were talking about this topic but it's going to be tomorrow don't worry about that i wait for you at the same time for the same channel see you bye bye good night take care good night teacher okay. good night blessing see you tomorrow see you see you bye, teacher. See bye. You. See you.